playlist. Got the tire fixed. Nice young guys working there. Very helpful. Now we got 97 more miles to go. You know, uh, I hear people say about retirement. Uh, and, oh, they'll probably never... They wouldn't know what to do if they retired and stuff. And, man, one of the things that I would do, kind of like what I'm doing right now, is I take my time. I am not on, on any kind of clock. You know, I've got uh, a couple of job offers, three to be exact, and they all know I'll get there when I get there. So, uh, just being able to take your time is enough and, and sounds wonderful for retirement. Not to have to be rushed, not to have to be uh, guided by uh, an alarm clock. Uh, so that, I'm, I'm looking forward to that, being able to just of the Palo Duro, the Palo Duro Canyon, or 
or maybe it might be the other way, I'm not sure. But it's a lot prettier scenery through here. I'm kind of taking it easy. I wanna I wanna see some stuff. Um mostly I've been traveling. It's just been flatland, so back up into some farming. <laughs> well, that was quick. I've got to stop at a truck stop. Oh, my goodness. I have got to pick up a trucker's atlas. I don't know where mine went. I couldn't find it. So I pick up another one, and I'll tell you, they have so much information, so much more information than a regular atlas. Anybody who's pulling a trailer and that has any kind of height to it, boy, the Trucker's Atlas is something to get because it will give you detailed uh, height restrictions, uh, low bridges, narrow bridges, weights, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, definitely. Trucker's Atlas, I think, is a must for anybody who travels. That travels out, you know, not just on um, freeways and highways. Because the individual state uh, parts will spider off into, like, the local area. somebody that, um, it's a job, that I had already told that I would call them when I, when I got closer, because here's the thing, especially if you have a CDL, uh, and you have a good record, and blah, 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 he, people want you right here, right now, so, uh, and I, you know, I've had, to, I had to say, you know, I'm taking my time, I'm going to go camping. Oh my goodness, what's going on up here? I see sirens. Little flashers. I wonder what happened. Oh, I still see them up, up farther. Oh, you guys, I'm probably going to turn this off in case it's a... for a minute. Let's see what's going on. Be right back. Okay, yeah, it was a, an icky accident. Uh, I didn't look. I don't, I don't like looking. I don't want to see anything, you know. I don't want to see that kind of stuff. So I'll just say a prayer for anybody involved with everything. You know, nobody was injured that badly or especially, but just say a little prayer for them. Um, well, I tell ya, you know, this is just one another one of those things that you gotta enjoy, enjoy your today, because you never know, you, you never know, minute to minute, what's going to happen. And I sure love you, Miss Ginger. Thank you. 
flashers again because there's, I think they're kind of just warning people about the accident. Uh, I'm only about a mile from this truck stop I got to get to. Bless our law enforcement cars. Man, they got to they got to see so much stuff, you know. And they've all got families of their own. And say a little prayer for all our law enforcement. Oh, well, thank you. You've only got a mile and I'll take you body. Actually, less than a mile. Actually, we got 11 miles, so we're not less than a mile. We're gonna turn. So, alrighty. Well, look at the, con the countryside is a lot different than West Texas. I'm talking uh, more farming, so, which, which I like. Miss Ginger, that's enough. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll turn you back on when something. Watchworthy comes in, into play. Okay, this is, it's in Potter County Line. And I'm thinking this is 3, what is this, 335 Amarillo. Yep. Yep, this is another part of Amarillo. already tried that. Remember, it didn't work out well the first time. Don't know why I'm doing it the second time. <laughs> oh, y'all. I'd love to know how to sing. Well, I know how to sing. I'd love to be able to sing. Okay. I'd love to be able to sing where other people would love to hear me. <laughs> Ooh, diesel. 315. Dang, dang, dang. That's at the Petro. That's cash. If you pay with a card, credit, it's three twenty-one. dollars Ugh. I'm telling you. That's why I like using my, my Gas Buddy app. Oh. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait to get to camp, get all set up. I'm bummed at no campfire. The only thing I can have is my little butane burner. So, I don't know. I wanted to roast some hot dogs over the fire. Nothing fancy, just I was hungry for hot dogs. because it's got to be keto. They are uncured. Okay. I gotta go potty and I know Miss Ginger's gotta go potty. Truck. I don't really want to go into the truck entry but I guess I will. this real quick. I'm going to run in and I'll come back out for you, okay? Be right back. Oh, I'm going to turn this off.